It's triggering a lot of unreleased pain, repressed anger, guilt, and suffering that a lot of women have had. For a while now, Oprah, Tyler Perry, T.D. Jakes, and similar celebrities have been in the news. Something seems to have changed in the mood ever since Cassie revealed that shocking outfit to Diddy, and now all of them are coming to light. It is being demonstrated that these supposedly untouchable elites are essentially malevolent. I'll also be your guide today as you explore the dark lives of these strong men and women. The debate around T.D. Jake, the alarming claims of sexual assault and involvement in purported sex parties, hosted by Scene Diddy Combs, have caused the T.D. Jake's controversy to go viral online. One of America's greatest preachers, Bishop T.D. Jakes, is in serious water now that allegations against Diddy have exposed his own problem. Allegations T.D. Jakes had attended Diddy-hosted events and engaged in inappropriate sexual behavior with a youngster, including same-gender relationships, were made public in a TikTok video that went viral. The bishop's supporters are shocked by these accusations, which Jakes and his agent vigorously refute. As the narrative develops, it's critical to view these accusations with caution until credible sources substantiate them. Now let's get started. There are not many names in the preaching world that are as respected and revered as T.D. Jakes. On June 9, 1957, in South Charleston, West Virginia, Thomas Dexter Jakes was born. He would go on to become one of the most well-known and captivating preachers of our time. However, Jakes had a modest beginning prior to the controversy that encircles him now. Jakes, who grew up in a working-class family, found his calling in preaching at an early age. Motivated by his father, a Baptist minister and janitor, Jakes discovered comfort and direction in the church. He polished his public speaking abilities and created a distinctive style that enthralled listeners. Jakes became well-known in the Christian community right away thanks to his commanding voice, commanding presence, and capacity to emotionally connect with people. Millions of people were moved by the hope-filled, passionate, and convincing message of his sermons. Before long, everyone was seeing this emerging talent. Being named America's top preacher by Time magazine in 2000, and one cemented his reputation as a major player in the religious and spiritual arena. As Jake preached to crowded stadiums and dominated the airways with his television program, The Potter's Touch, his fame skyrocketed. People from various walks of life were moved by his teachings on overcoming adversity, personal growth, and empowerment. But Jake's rise to fame was due to more than just his preaching. He rose to popularity as a speaker and was invited to talk at the White House, conferences, and colleges. His impact went beyond the pulpit, as he was friends and associates with powerful people in industry, politics, and entertainment. Jake's faced difficulties along the way to being well-known. Throughout his career, he was the target of debate and criticism, with some criticizing his financial decisions and beliefs. He did not waver in his commitment to sharing the gospel of love, hope, and faith, though. Jakes built an empire despite ups and downs, founding the non-denominational megachurch Potter's House in Dallas, Texas. The church saw exponential growth, drawing hundreds of worshipers every week and emerging as a representation of Jakes' success and influence. With his captivating demeanor, alluring appearance, and indisputable brilliance, TD millions of people all throughout the world saw Jakes as a ray of hope. Up until the TD, his ascent to prominence appeared unstoppable. The debate over Jake collapsed. While the TD as the controversy surrounding Jakes develops, startling claims have surfaced that connect him to none other than seen Diddy Combs. Both the religious community and the entertainment business have been rocked by these accusations. Everything began with the charges made against Diddy, who has been accused of sexual assault in connection with his romance with R&B singer Cassie Ventura. But TD was introduced by a TikTok video. Claims that Jakes was involved in the affair thrust him into the public eye. According to the video, which was uploaded by TikToker at Justine, Ventura offered proof against Diddy that implicates Jakes as well. Despite the fact that these claims have not yet been verified, they have generated a great deal of debate and conjecture. 
Ventura turned up videotapes, a USB drive, and even Kim Porter's burner phone, according to It Just Ninny. 2018 saw the death of Diddy's ex-partner and child's mother, Kim Porter. According to the video, an email with numerous startling allegations, including T.D. Jake's connection to Diddy, is making the rounds. According to the anonymous male voice in the video, Ventura was persuaded to turn up audio and video records that show pictures of intimate get-togethers and sex parties with well-known and powerful people. According to these claims, T.D. Jakes has allegedly had inappropriate sexual interactions and same-gender relationships with several individuals both abroad and at Diddy's gatherings. The video goes on to say that Jakes' male escorts call him a power bottom. Although being gay is not improper or illegal, the accusation casts doubt on Jakes' public persona and his possible insincerity in portraying himself as a loving family man while being involved in same-gender relationships. That's not where the controversy ends. According to the video, a young man has hired an attorney to prosecute Jakes for something that happened while he was a juvenile. Although the incident's specifics are not given, it is inferred that illicit sexual behavior was engaged. According to the video, Jake's church, the Potter's home, and the young man's family were bought off to be silent. Fans of TD are left stunned by these bombshell charges. Jake's looked shocked. According to the video, Jake's dishonor is going to be revealed, and his fall from grace is certain. It seems sense that Jake's has discreetly beefed up in preparation for the impending storm. It's crucial to treat these claims cautiously, unless they are corroborated by trustworthy sources, though. The assertion's authenticity is called into question by the fact that major media outlets have not yet picked up the subject. The T.D. Jake's controversy's real cause is still unknown. The religious community and the entertainment business have been rocked by the T.D. Jake's scandal. The possible repercussions and influence on Jake's reputation and job are becoming more and more evident as the accusations against him deepen. These accusations cut to the center of Jake's public persona as someone who has established himself as one of America's finest preachers. His reputation as a well-liked religious leader could be damaged by the allegations of sexual assault, engagement in sex parties, and closeted homosexuality. The implications for Jake's might be disastrous if these accusations turn out to be true. He might lose the faith and confidence that his followers have in him, and his preaching reputation might suffer irreversible harm. There might be significant ramifications for his church, the Potter's home, and its members from this controversy as well. It's also important to consider the effect on Jakes's private life. He might be subject to legal ramifications, including criminal penalties and a damaged reputation, if the claims of sexual assault involving a juvenile are proven true. Additionally, Jakes' ties with powerful people in business, politics, and entertainment may be impacted by the charges. The relationships he has built over the years might turn away from him out of concern about being linked to the controversy. The Jake's controversy also calls into question the integrity and responsibility of religious leaders in general. It serves as a reminder that everyone, regardless of status or reputation, is susceptible to human nature's temptations and shortcomings. Whatever the result, the TD, the Jake scandal is a sobering reminder of the perils of idolizing public personalities and the necessity of holding them responsible for their deeds. It serves as a reminder that no one is beyond investigation and that despite startling accusations, the truth must always be pursued. But the TD Jake's dispute has sparked a flurry of replies from the general public, detractors, and supporters. The many viewpoints of Jake's reputation and character are becoming more prominent as the claims keep surfacing. Those who back TT inspired by his lectures and teachings, Jake's are left feeling disappointed and unable to believe what they are seeing. Many have stated how much they still believe in Jake's, rejecting the accusations and sticking by him. Talks concerning the transparency and accountability of religious leaders have also been triggered by the controversy. Many are demanding that the claims be thoroughly investigated and that the systems that permit these kinds of power abuses be re-examined. 
Nonetheless, it is crucial to stand by and encourage sexual assault survivors in the midst of the debate, making sure that their experiences are acknowledged and their voices heard. However, how precisely is Diddy involved in all of this? Because his name simply keeps coming up, repeatedly. We must start at the beginning in order to comprehend this black billionaire. The debate around Diddy, when Diddy interned at Uptown Records in the late 1980s, he started his career in the music business. He refined his abilities and gained a sharp eye for talent throughout this time. His perseverance and hard work paid off as he rose through the ranks at the label swiftly to become an A&R executive. Diddy took a risk when he started his own record company, Bad Boy Records, at the beginning of the 1990s. This was the start of a new chapter in his career that would eventually influence R&B and hip-hop. With a roster of gifted musicians that included Faith Evans, Maze, and the infamous Big, Diddy made Bad Boy Records a major player in the music business very fast. But Diddy's rise to prominence was fueled by more than simply his abilities as a record executive. He also demonstrated his artistic and producing abilities. When No Way Out, his debut album, was released in 1997, it became an enormous hit and won him a Grammy for Best Rap Album. Hit songs like I'll Be Missing You, a memorial to his close friend and collaborator, The Notorious Big, who passed away tragically in 1997, were included on the album. Diddy's ascent to prominence wasn't devoid of controversy. He was well known for his ostentatious way of living and flamboyant appearance, which frequently received criticism from his peers and the media. Nevertheless, he was able to sidestep the problems and establish himself as one of the most important people in the music industry thanks to his indisputable talent and financial acumen. When Diddy's ex-girlfriend Cassie leveled grave accusations against him, it was one of the most stunning and contentious times in his career. Cassie painted a troubling picture of Diddy and her relationship in a lawsuit, accusing him of years of abuse and asterisk. In the case, Cassie stated that throughout roughly 10 years, Diddy mistreated and controlled her on a regular basis. She said that he dominated and exploited her by using his position of authority, making her feel imprisoned and powerless. Although their public engagement ended after six years, the mistreatment continued all through their partnership. The most upsetting event happened in 2018, when Combs allegedly broke into her house and sexually assaulted her. After much deliberation, Cassie made the courageous decision to speak out and openly tell her story, bringing attention to the silent problems that women who experience abuse and violence in relationships confront. Further alarming information, including reports of physical abuse, is revealed in the lawsuit. For instance, Combs gave Cassie a kick to the face after noticing her chatting with a different talent agency. It also discloses how, under the pretense of helping her recover from the attack, he locked her in a hotel room for a week. As Cassie describes being forced to take part in Combs' creepy voyeurism fantasy, Freak Offs, a startling realization dawns. It featured graphic interactions with male escorts that he saw, documented, and took pictures of. The lawsuit also states that Diddy was upset over Cassie's previous relationship with Kid Cutie in 2012 and even declared his intention to wreck the rapper's vehicle. Remarkably, Kid Cutie's automobile did, in fact, blow up during that time, proving the foreboding incident. The lawsuit's most concerning element is the allegation that Combs obtained access to Cassie's private medical records. The lawsuit raises major concerns about privacy issues by citing occasions in which he physically accessed her MRI data. Cassie tried to flee during a freak-off in 2016 after Combs physically attacked her. She ran down the hallway, and in retaliation, he hurled glass vases at her with fury. But the most unsettling event occurred in 2018, when Cassie reportedly severed her relationship with Combs permanently after he allegedly sexually molested her during a meal. To put it mildly, the lawsuit's details were really disgusting. Fortunately, Cassie was able to settle out of court, and rumor has it that she received a substantial check. 
P. Diddy's alleged maltreatment of musicians signed to his record company. Bad Boy Entertainment is another topic of controversy surrounding him. A number of musicians have come out to say that P. Diddy ignored their needs, both personal and professional, and used their talent for his own gain. They charged him with breach of contract, unpaid royalties, and lack of backing. P. Diddy has a damaged reputation as a music entrepreneur as a result of these accusations, which have called into question his moral behavior in the music business. In addition, P. Diddy's predilection for a lavish way of living has put him in legal hot water. He collided with another vehicle in an automobile accident in Beverly Hills in 2015. The litany of legal challenges he has encountered throughout the years was further increased by this episode. Returning to Cassie now, Diddy did not remain mute in the face of Cassie's grave accusations. In response to the charges, he swiftly defended his innocence and angrily denied them. Diddy insisted in a statement issued through his representatives that the accusations were untrue and that he would vehemently defend himself against them. These accusations elicited a mixed response from the public and that he would put up a strong fight against them. The public's response to these accusations was not uniform. Many chose to remain silent. Diddy, who maintains his innocence and brushes off the accusations as unfounded. They used his prosperous profession and charitable activities as testimonials to his moral fiber. Others, on the other hand, were extremely troubled by the claims and could not seem to distance themselves from the artist. The Hash Me Too movement, which had gathered a lot of steam in recent years, increased public interest in Diddy even more. Many viewed his case as just another instance of power misuse in the entertainment sector. Important discussions concerning consent, responsibility, and the treatment of women in the music industry were spurred by the accusations made against him. However, although Cassie's claims are unquestionably among the most startling scandals involving Diddy, they are not the only incidents that have damaged his reputation. Diddy has been involved in a number of other scandals over his career in the music business that have drawn attention and spurred discussion among the general public. One significant scandal involving Diddy was his part in the 1999 nightclub shooting. Three people were hurt after a shooting happened during an altercation at a club in New York City. Diddy was at the scene with rapper Shine and his then-girlfriend Jennifer Lopez. Although Diddy was eventually cleared of all charges, Shine and Diddy were both charged with violating weapons laws. Scene Diddy Combs was involved in a violent rivalry that would permanently alter his life's trajectory as early as 1995. The fatal shooting of Jake Robles, a security officer and friend of Death Row Records co-founder Marion Suge Knight, was the catalyst for everything. Death Row and Bad Boy would get into a dispute as a result of this incident, which would result in several violent run-ins and accusations that would follow Combs for years. Combs and Knight were in Atlanta's Platinum City Club celebrating musician Jermaine Dupri's birthday on the night of the shooting. What had begun as a night of celebration soon descended into mayhem and violence. Deep-seated enmity between Combs and Knight sparked a fight between members of the Bad Boy and Death Row Enturages. As hostilities increased, the circumstances tragically changed. Knight's companion and security guard Jake Robles was slain outside the nightclub. According to eyewitnesses, a fight broke out between the two groups after they argued. Chris Howard, a Fulton County Sheriff deputy who was on the site, then gave a terrifying account of what happened. Howard claims that he took Combs and his companions out of the club, thinking that Knight and his group could now depart. But Knight's partner was about to board the vehicle. Howard told the Los Angeles Times, when all of a sudden Puffy's people appeared around the corner, one of them brandishing a gun. Shots were fired during the ensuing pandemonium, and Jake Robles was tragically hit several times. Following the incident, Combs adamantly denied any role in the shooting, asserting that he was unaware of the gun or the subsequent violence. But Knight blamed Combs for the disaster, escalating the already fierce animosity between Death Row and Bad Boy. The shooting of Jake Robles has serious legal ramifications. 
Two 9mm firearms were discovered in Combs' car, leading to his arrest and subsequent charges for several weapons violations. The claims that Combs had tried to coerce his driver into claiming possession of the gun also gave rise to accusations of bribery. But in the end, Knight was found guilty on five of his eight charges and given a 10-year jail sentence. Combs, on the other hand, was found not guilty of any of the charges. Another scandal that has accompanied Diddy's career is his purported association with influential people. There are rumors circulating that he is involved in criminal operations and has ties to organized crime. Even though these allegations have never been proven, they have heightened curiosity and conjecture about Diddy's identity. Diddy's business methods have also drawn criticism. Numerous artists who have collaborated with him have accused him of mistreating them and failing to pay them fairly for their contributions. They contend that Diddy exploited their skill and labor for personal financial advantage. Concerns concerning the treatment of musicians and the morality of the music industry have been brought up by these accusations. Diddy has continued to be regarded as one of the most important people in the music business in spite of these scandals. With his endeavors in entertainment, fashion, and music, he has created a prosperous empire. His influence on the business has been cemented as his company, Bad Boy Records, has produced some of the biggest artists in R&B and hip-hop. Furthermore, one of the most fascinating facets of Diddy's scandals is the purported connection between him and influential people. Rumors have persisted over the years regarding Diddy's links to powerful individuals, such as politicians, billionaires, and even members of organized crime. The purported connection between Diddy and influential people has given rise to a lot of conspiracy theories. There are many who argue that he has taken advantage of his connections to further his career and shield himself from lawsuits. Some people think he has engaged in illicit actions, using his contacts to further his own interests. Diddy isn't the only guy on the cutting block either. Heck, even Tyler Perry is Oprah. They have been for years in actuality. Recognized as a national treasure and praised as an inspiring force, Oprah and Tyler Perry's contentious life story saw her rise from modest beginnings to become a billionaire, with an estimated net worth of $2.8 billion by the end of 2023. Oprah's abilities were unbounded as she achieved success in a variety of entertainment-related fields. She seemed to be able to excel in every field, from writing to the silver screen from hosting chat shows to producing films. Through her well-known magazine O and her media company Harpo Productions, through the Oprah magazine, she gave numerous people a strong platform to have their views heard, empowering them. Even after the Oprah Winfrey show, Oprah's legendary talk show ended in 2011, her influence grew. She started new businesses and captivated viewers with her perceptive interviews on streaming platforms and primetime television. The gifted actress, Wayala Davis, was the subject of one such great interview that demonstrated Oprah's amazing capacity to create a close connection with each of her guests and vividly bring their tales to life. Oprah conducted another interview in 2021, this time with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex. This discussion illuminated significant topics and captivated listeners worldwide, leaving an enduring impression. On a cold January 29, 1954 day, Oprah's journey to fame started on a farm near Kosciuszko, Mississippi. Oprah was raised by her maternal grandmother when her parents, Fernanda Lee and Vernon Winfrey, parted ways soon after Oprah was born. Oprah showed exceptional intelligence even as a small child, picking up reading at a young age. According to some reports, she may have discovered the world of books as early as age 2.5. When Oprah moved to Milwaukee at the age of six, her life took a completely unexpected turn as she was surrounded by poverty. Oprah's indomitable spirit and unshakable resolve shone through despite all the obstacles in her path, setting the path for the extraordinary woman she would become. Though there have been many scandals throughout Oprah Winfrey's career, one that sticks out is her relationship with Brazilian faith healer Joab Teixeira de Faria, often known as John of God. 
2010 saw Feria featured on Oprah's show, where she introduced him to a worldwide audience and extolled his purported healing powers. Nevertheless, startling claims that Fario was a serial sexual abuser surfaced in 2018. A number of women disclosed accounts of Faria, making inappropriate attempts toward them during his therapeutic sessions. The charges rocked the spiritual community and made many wonder if Oprah made the right choice in supporting him. Opponents claimed that a man who was later revealed to be a predator had gained credibility thanks to Oprah's platform. In a statement in response to the accusations, Oprah expressed her sympathy for the women who were coming forward and her hope that justice would be done. She admitted that some people had misinterpreted Faria and accused her of being improper. But the controversies surrounding her relationship with him cast doubt on her ability to judge people by their genuine character and highlighted the dangers of endorsing anyone without doing a thorough background check. The connection between Oprah Winfrey and disgraced film mogul Harvey Weinstein was another scandal that destroyed her career. The Hash Me Too movement was launched in 2017 after multiple women came forward with claims of sexual harassment and assault against Weinstein, revealing the seedy underbelly of Hollywood. Weinstein and Oprah collaborated on the 2013 movie Lee Daniels' The Butler, for which Weinstein received an executive producer credit. Many questioned Oprah's awareness of Weinstein's alleged misbehavior and whether she had ignored his behavior when the charges first appeared. During Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop podcast in 2018, Oprah responded to the controversy by saying she was unaware of Weinstein's alleged sexual misbehavior. She stressed that she was unaware of the severity of his acts, even though she accepted that she was friendly with him and that they had collaborated on the movie. The disclosure of Oprah's connection to Weinstein sparked concerns about the responsibility and cooperation of people working in the entertainment sector. Oprah, a prominent person in Hollywood, supported Weinstein by working with him on The Butler, which increased awareness of and legitimacy for his work. Even if it was inadvertent, critics claimed that her relationship with him helped to foster a culture of silence that allowed his violent behavior to continue. 2020 saw Oprah Winfrey at the epicenter of another scandal, this time related to the On the Record documentary. With a special emphasis on hip-hop entrepreneur Russell Simmons, who was accused of asterisk asterisk ing and sexual assault by numerous women, the movie sought to expose sexual harassment in the music business. At first, Oprah had agreed to serve as the documentary's executive producer, endorsing the endeavor with her name but she took the unexpected choice to leave her role shortly before the film's Sundance Film Festival debut. Oprah noted in a statement that she thought the film needed more work to truly portray the victim's experiences and that she and the filmmakers did not share the same creative vision. This choice caused a stir and brought criticism, with some doubting Oprah's dedication to the Hashmi 2 movement and her readiness to confront strong men. Her withdrawal from the project according to critics, diminished the voices of the survivors and implied that their tales weren't important enough to be conveyed in full. Oprah was involved in yet another issue involving sexual misbehavior. 2020 saw a surge of unfounded claims and conspiracy theories accusing Oprah Winfrey of being a part of an international sex trafficking organization. Her name became trending on social media as a result of these accusations which also caused a great deal of conjecture and anxiety. The allegation started with a Facebook post claiming that Oprah and other celebrities were involved in a sex trafficking club, and that disgraced movie mogul Harvey Weinstein had struck a plea agreement. The post instantly went viral, sparking a wave of trending hashtags and online conversations. Nevertheless, there was no reliable evidence to support these rumors, and they were totally false. Oprah who is accustomed to controversy, quickly refuted the untrue allegations on her official Twitter account, 